that protect stance though. Look at that. Ain't nobody gonna mess with that. Look at those legs. I feel like I look like an elementary school teacher today. Hello! So it is that time again. Another Redbird vintage box. I've done quite a few of these in the past. I've said it before, but they're some of my favorite videos to make just because it is as much of a surprise for me as it is for you guys. Now, if you've never seen any of my previous Redbird videos, basically what it is is a mystery vintage subscription monthly surprise. It is run by a couple amazing ladies. They are seriously the sweetest humans and I love working with them. And what they do is cater your own little vintage box to your tastes and your style. You can go on their website and you fill out a little survey telling them what you like, what you don't like, eras, styles, colors, all that good stuff. And they will cater a box specifically for you. You can do a reoccurring subscription or you could just do month by month. I've been working with them for a couple years now at least and it's safe to say they know me pretty darn well at this point <laughs> um so pretty much everything they get me is always this is the laureen box this is the bigger box out of the two there's also the marie this comes with six vintage accessories and or clothing items uh while the marie comes with four accessories so without further ado let's see what they cooked up for me this time <laughs> Where's my scissors? There they are. Hiya. Give me my goodies. Did I do the wrong side? <laughs> you make me look bad here, tape. Alright. Listen. So first up, we have this cute little knot from them. On top of the packaging, there is this cute little pin brooch. Usually they will include an extra little pin or clip or something on top of the packaging, so it's just an extra little goodie. There is a small little bag of goodies. So within that baggie, there is a lot of little baggies. First up <laughs> is this adorable also, I pre-apologize for how many times I describe something as adorable or cute. I only have so many adjectives up here in my little brain office, okay? So this little pin. I feel like I knew this at one point and then I forgot. It's either a scarf pin or a hat pin or a lapel pin. Whatever you want to use it for, I guess. Um, but this is adorable and it has a little embroidered detail, which I've never seen before. So cute. Next up. Oh. Wow. This brooch, this is freaking beautiful. It's very art deco looking. Um, very up my alley. I like it a lot. In fact, I think I will wear it right now. Mm hmm My transformation into an elementary school teacher is now complete. Next up, this, oh, oh. <laughs> hello. Adorable, simple little necklace. I love. One of the things they do know about me is that for necklaces, I really like small, simple details. So basically, this is perfect. And then the last tiny little baggie. Oh, this leaf clip. Again, I feel like I know this. It's either a shoe clip or a scarf clip or something that I'm probably wrong about. To me, it reminds me of the fellowship pin. So I feel like I need to wear this on a cloak or something similar to that. They definitely always understand um, my love for anything Hobbit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was the first little baggie. Now it's getting into the clothes. Oh, hello. So first up, I can already tell that I love. Oh, yes. Freaking adorable. <laughs> It's kind of hard to tell on camera because it looks white on camera, but it's kind of like an off-white. That's better. Yeah, so it's like an off-white, and then it has these tiny little flower details. And also the collar has 
a tiny bit of lace around the edges and then of course the cute little detailing on the cuff this is so cute definitely that marilla prairie type vibe which i have found myself gravitating towards very like 1800s oregon trail no dysentery <laughs> Next up in the clothes. Oh, oh my, what are you? This is freaking pretty. A beautiful dress. It feels like it might be 70s. It has a very uh, Juliet vibe to it. The bottom of it is very, very beautiful. And it kind of has like that accordion style of pleat. 10 out of 10 would stand on a balcony and audibly wonder where my boyfriend's at. Okay, next up. Oh, 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 oh sh shoot. <laughs> this is the most perfect hobbit dress I've ever seen in my entire life. A uh, freaking adorable. This beautiful dress. The top is so perfect and it has kind of that medieval sleeve to it. The whole top is very medieval and then of course the bottom has the ruffles. <sighs> Listen to me. You're beautiful. It is perfect for fall, perfect for autumn. I can either wear it the way it is with maybe a different belt or I could put a skirt on the bottom and use the top for what it is. So precious, and I am in love. All right, and last up in the box is freaking adorable back. And again, it kind of has that embroidery detail, which I love. <laughs> so cute and the perfect size. It's big enough for me to store all my miscellaneous items, but not big enough for me to immediately lose said items and feel like a Mary Poppins bag. But then again, it's also surprising how quickly I can lose things. So, <laughs> so cute. Perfect for my elementary school teacher vibe that I got going on here. You know, I'll keep crayons and markers. And... So that is it for this Redbird Vintage box. They, again, killed it. I feel like I don't even have to say that anymore. Um, they know me pretty darn well and they nailed that Hobbit aesthetic. So yes, um, I will have everything you need to know about them down in the description. This isn't sponsored, but they did send me the box for free. So that is the Loreen box that is $100. I mean, you could either keep getting it continuously or you can just do a treat yourself box and get it every once in a while. Now they did let me know that they are no longer shipping this internationally uh, just because shipping prices were getting pretty outrageous and of course each box weighs differently so it's kind of hard for them to control that. There is also the Marie box that is $50 and that is for vintage accessories. That one they will ship internationally just because it's a little easier for them to manage that price. It's good to keep in mind that this company is just a couple of lovely ladies. They are doing this all themselves. They are going out and picking these items and catering your box specifically for you. And again, they are just the sweetest humans, so. <laughs> but yes, that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I love you guys whether you're new or old to this channel, and if you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. <laughs> I was close, I almost got it. Feel free to subscribe, I upload every week, and we have fun here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Give me brush. Okay. The day where I have everything I need to film and don't forget something and have to go get it, I'm gonna give myself a big cookie. Whoa.
Wow. Definitely that kind of prairie. Oh no. Kitchen is not here. Oh shush. Gustav, join me in the quest for the perfect thumbnail. Here we go. Is that good? I don't know. Does that, does that entice you? Hmm? Oh! <gasps> Maybe I'm like, you know, picking someone out of there. Like, oh sh What is this? I could do the Kevin McAllister, huh? Ah! <laughs>